today I created this soft glam look for a Christmas party that I'll be going to this evening and I just went with a really soft glam. If you guys like this look and you want to see how I got it then just keep on watching. Less than an hour to do a full face of glam. So the hair took a very long time. I got my Bellamy hair extensions in. So I think I'm just going to go with a look that I've been doing recently. Alright, so since I'm running out of time, I'm going to just finish off my skincare and also do my eyebrows. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we got our eyebrows on. Now I'm just going to take just a little concealer. I'm going to blend that all over my lid. I just washed my makeup brushes. I washed them yesterday and it just makes me feel so good when my brushes are clean. I feel like I have my life together. Usually really nervous about these things, but I don't know anyone there, so I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm more nervous when I know people. Um, than complete strangers. So I'm just taking this shade. I didn't even show you guys the color, I'm so sorry. I'm taking this small palette, it's called Flirt. The Tartlet Flirt Palette. And I'm just taking this shade right over here. It's called Playful. It's like maybe a shade darker than my skin tone. And I'm using that as a transition shade. I'm just going for like a brown soft glam. So there's lamps. My skin is kind of distracting me, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pause on my eyeshadow. And we're just going to take my primer. This is the Timeless Smoothing Primer from Tarte. So we're gonna take a little bit of this Stay Naked Foundation from Urban Decay. I'm gonna pump a little bit on the back of my hand. Just like two, not even full drops. So I guess one drop. And then I'm gonna take my Double Wear. The pump is broken. I don't even know. This is a brand new bottle though. I just reused my pumps. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. And we're going to mix it on the back of my hand. Now this is definitely my favorite foundation concoction, hands down. I know that I probably say that every single time, but this is really it. I switched it up for like a month and it did not work out. Like I had more bad makeup days than good. And so I realized I just need to stick to what I like and stop switching it up. Oh, this. This brush smells clean. Okay. Okay. Playful. Building this color up on my lid and my crease area, really blowing it up into the brow bone. And I'm using a M573 brush to do that. All right, so I'm gonna set that brush aside. So I'm gonna take the same shade on a smaller brush. This is a Morphe M507 brush. And we're going to pack that even lower and just give it a little more depth and I don't know if you can tell already but I'm just packing that on the outer V into the crease next I'll be going in with the shade snuggle everybody's telling me happy birthday and I've been so busy I can't even pick up my phone to tell everyone Thank you. I'm going to respond to everyone now. So all my family and friends. 
And then my mom posted me on her Facebook and my dad. So all of their friends are saying happy birthday. So sweet. At work today, they had a... They made me wear a sash that said happy birthday on it. And I thought it was so freaking sweet. Like I've never been treated like that on my birthday as an adult ever. Then I'm gonna take that previous brush that I used in the crease and we're just going to blend out any harsh line. Okay, so I built it up to the intensity that I am happy with. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this dark brown eyeliner I'm gonna sharpen it and I'm creating that wing effect. The lashes that I'm gonna be wearing today are the Miami Flares and they're very wispy. Just have like a really cat-y look. And I kinda want this look to just enhance my natural features. So we're just taking that eyeliner and I'm going along the lash line and a little bit higher. I'm gonna make like a small wing, but I'm not gonna extend it too much. So just like that, and I'm gonna take a small smudging brush. This is a Morphe M508, and we're gonna take a dark brown. I'm gonna take this dark brown right there, boop, boop, boop. And we're gonna smudge that line out. We're just kind of smudging it and also flicking upwards, just creating that soft wing. We want it to be soft and blown out. You can see how my eyes like already it's looking more snotched. Um, so I need a small mirror to do this actually. Oh my gosh, I always mess up on my wings. One always looks freaking bigger than the other, so I'm gonna sharpen it a little more. It needs to be more pointy. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some concealer. Just that heart shape tape again, and this is in the shade Tan Sand. So we're just gonna take a little on the back of our hand, and I'm gonna take a concealer brush. I'm gonna go in with one of these, and that is the Morphe M421. I use this brush so much, it's the name starting to rub off. Okay, so we're gonna cut our crease. Zooming y'all in the last minute. Sorry about that. All right, so this is what we're looking like. And basically, I'm just gonna go back in and smooth out these edges here. And then I'm gonna go a little above my crease and just Define this one more time. And I'm going in with that very first shade that I used called Playful. I'm going to take a really small, I'm gonna take like a brush like this. This would be called like a smudger brush. And I'm gonna go in with that shade Snuggle, which was the darker brown. And we're gonna go right up in here and just darken this up really 
define the crease. I don't know if you can tell. Just a little tiny bit. Defining it. Go back around the outer edges and just, just making everything look more clean. And we have 30 minutes, guys. 30 minutes. My face takes me like no time at all. It's the eyes that take forever. Okay, this whole palette is like the entire look. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade Gaze. It's like the cream shade right here. And we're gonna take this brush. I don't know what it's called, but it's like fluffy and dense. See, and we're just gonna pack that shade on over top this wet concealer. Take that shade Gaze. We're just gonna pack that on top. It's just gonna set this in place. Okay, so it's looking like that. So it's not like super light, you know? Wearing the Miami flares, they look like this. And these are the 3D mink ones. They look like that. I'm going to put mascara on and my lashes. So I'm just like looking at this and I feel like I can use just a little pop of something. Um, I mean, it is going to be a Christmas party for crying out loud. I'm going to take the Pat McGrath Mothership palette, but I'm going to take this sparkly shade right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's like a rose gold. Just all over the lid like that. Nothing perfect or packed on. We just want it to be kind of like see-through so you can still see that color underneath. All right, lashes. Eyes are done for now. We still gotta do the bottom lash line, but we're gonna go ahead and move on to our face. I'm gonna take this Kleenex and we're gonna clean up this here and make it look nice and sharp. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go in with a foundation and same concoction. We're just gonna add another layer. Okay. We're gonna take a sponge and we're gonna go in and just do that second layer. Okay, now we're gonna take a concealer and a highlight. Okay, so I'll be going back and forth between this Real Technique sponge and a actual beauty blender and that's because they're different sizes and I just use them for different areas of the face. But yeah, so I'm blending out my concealer here. So my concealer was giving me a hard time and that was because it just wasn't sitting well on top of that foundation and it had a lot to do with me applying that first layer hours ago, then waiting a while and applying another layer on top of that and then the concealer, it just got all patchy but I managed to get it blended out, it just took me a little longer. I knew powder was going to fix it. We're just going to bake everything. 
so it doesn't move. Looking crazy. We'll come back to that powder in a minute. I'm gonna take this powder from Anastasia and we're going to go over the entire face. We're just gonna wipe the cake off so I don't look extra dry. Just buffing it into the skin. Okay. All right, so we're gonna take a bronzer. Still using the same bronzer. And warm up the face so we are not all one color. Okay. Now we're going to take some blush in this peachy shade right here, and that's called Nectarine. this contour palette I told y'all my face takes like no time at all and then I'm gonna take a nose contour brush this one it's a real techniques brush and we're going to contour our nose okay I'm just putting this brow gel on from Anastasia take this small brush and we're just going to do our under eye. And buffing that playful shade that we used in our crease. Just blending that around underneath the eye. Connecting the top to the bottom. Smoking it out, guys. We are smoking this out. Okay, and I think it's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush like this and then go in with the, or this one, the one with that shade Snuggle and go closer to the lash line. I'm going to take this little mascara. We're going to take a little bit of this powder and I'm going to uh, clean this up again because I want it to be pretty clean looking. And we're going to clean up our contour. We're going to leave it on there while we put our mascara on. My face, but we're just going to get to that waterline real quick with the, the nude pencil to make us look more awake because we're tired as fuck. And all like, so that's that for the eyes. And now I'm gonna Dust this all. Make sure it's actually dusted off because we're about to set our face and we're not setting any of this powder on there. Okay, guys. Okay, now we're going to take our setting spray from All Nighter and hit the whole face. And then we're going to take our sponge that we use for our foundation and we're just going to push that into the skin. This will get rid of the powder effect. We're going to take this highlighter by Laura Geller in the shade Gilded Honey. And we're going to put that in the inner corner of the eye. Just giving it a little pop. Okay, and we're gonna hit the nose, tip of the nose, 
So the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, I love a nose highlight. And we can put a little tiny bit on the brow bone, just a tad. And then I'm gonna take a highlighter brush. This is the Morphe M510. I like this one and then the Jaclyn Hill brush that she created with Morphe. And I use the highlighting brush that comes in that face kit. And like the one in the glittery bag, that one. All right, so that's done. Last is the lips, and we are out of here, Shawty. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. All right, we're gonna take our usual lip liner. This is in the shade Nutmeg. Taking this makeup wipe and going across my hairline, wiping any makeup I might have gotten in it. This is the look that I came up with. Just a soft glam. And we just got our big hair extensions in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe. See you later.